You've got ten minutes, then it's tea time. Five minutes. Crikey. Final touches. Your time is well and truly up. Well done. Woo. <laughs> wow. Oh, well done, mate. Oh. I didn't even look up. Well done. Wow, that looks amazing. Well done. <laughs> I thought afternoon tea was meant to be dainty and refined and elegant. <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? Well, the whole process of it. Mm, that was like amazing. Well done. Thank you very much indeed for, for your hard work and your fantastic looking creations. Because this is finals week, we've invited a very special guest. Can I introduce you to arguably one of the best pastry chefs in the country? Very talented, an incredibly nice guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Landlard. Hello, Eric. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Cup of tea? Yeah, why not? After serving as a chef in the French Navy, Eric Landlard came to Britain to work in pastry for the Roux brothers. I've always been attracted to uh, pastries because, first of all, I like the uh, artistic flair behind it. And at the same time, I like how you have to be precise and uh, follow the strict rules behind it. It's not really cooking, it's more chemistry. His London patisserie has created cakes for the Beckhams, the Queen Mother and Madonna, and his bespoke afternoon teas are highly sought after. You do add up to uh, pinch yourself and sometimes do a little dance in the office when you get a phone call coming from someone like Madonna or Buckingham Palace. You always go like, wow, this is uh, incredible. I love afternoon tea. I love everything about afternoon tea. Forget lunch, forget dinner. I want to see something who visually look great. The savory, the sweet, and of course, the scones make it different uh, and entertaining. I'm not a great fan of finger sandwiches, and I still don't understand after 30 years why will you stick cucumber into white bread. Stephanie, please. Stephanie has made blinis or pancakes with creamy dill and horseradish prawns cheddar and sage scones with bacon jam, strawberry basil cupcakes with vanilla buttercream icing, and chocolate dipped puff pastry horns filled with chocolate chai or spiced tea whipped cream. The presentation is really good, I really like it. It's very pretty, very, very pretty. Whoa, look at that. Oh. Well, I'm happy. I love the blini, starting with the savoury. That blini is so fluffy, and I love the prawns on the, on the top as well. Cheese cone, really good, very cheesy, and I love the bacon inside, but I would have probably done them a little bit bigger. Okay. The, the horn, I love that chocolate tasting of chai. That, that is lovely. I mean, I like a chai tea latte, so that to me is a real, real treat. That I love. I think you're, you're being very daring with your combinations, basil and strawberry cupcakes. So the cake itself is almost savoury with basil, but that cream cheese topping, which I think is absolutely fantastic, is really sweet, so is the strawberry jam. I really, really like that. Stephanie, thank you very much. I feel like I'm on a bit of a high. Um, today was encouraging because I just feel like, you know, they've seen the hard work. It's not perfect, but we are moving closer to 
you know, professional standard, hopefully. 